Morning ladies and welcome to the Bride Guide 101 and today we're going to be looking at A-line underskirts. So what we're going to do is we're going to, rather than show you different underskirts, we're going to show you the same underskirt but with the different material dresses and slightly different styles so that you can try and see your style dress and what an underskirt might do for that. The one that we've picked, I would say, is like our average one of selling. Yeah, you've got one hoop with this and six layers of petticoats with this chawl and that'll do, it'll soften the hoop for you but also it'll bring this dress out get it off your feet because there is one hoop in mm -hmm. it and by taking the four different dresses a i get to put more dresses on yay so i was like oh we'll have that one we'll have that <laughs> one and um, but you'll see the difference that makes in the different style of the dress because some one dress is quite relaxed in one of the yeah. fits so by putting a skirt on you'll see the difference some are more structured so hopefully be able to like Gemma said see your dress that you might be considering and if you need a underskirt and the difference that'll make see what it looks like let's go so here we have put the first dress on. So this is an A-line dress. Um, it's quite princessy in regards of how many layers it's got, but it's sat on my legs at the moment. So if you are considering an underskirt, the reason you might go for one with this dress is just to get the layers off your legs. So we're going to pop the underskirt on and you'll see the difference. Right then, so we pop the underskirt on with this dress now and I think you can see straight away the skirt has been brought out much more. And the most important thing I think here with this dress, it feels so much better because all those layers are off my legs and I can move. I've got to say do a bit of swish because oh, you can see how it stands I'll out, can't you? All day long in a dress like this. I think it's holding its shape as I'm moving and you can see that it's You can just walk easier in it, yeah. can't you? And look, <laughs> yeah. I'm, a I'm gonna be a princess. But like, a good princess. It doesn't feel like too much for me because this is a one hoop, so it's not as if it's gone huge and I suddenly feel like a little bit lost in it. It's enough for me. A one hoop with the petticoats is just your like. It's kind of like mid ground with it a little mm. bit. So it's taking the dress out. I feel like I can move a little bit easier, and you can see it's holding its shape. And I'm gonna swish all day long. <laughs> So here we have the next dress and we've gone for a satin dress. This is without the underskirt. So again, another A-line dress. Um, we're now gonna pop the underskirt on so you can see the different A on the skirt and how it feels for you wearing it. This will be interesting, won't it? Because this skirt is actually very structured is, already, yeah. isn't it? It like sort of sticks out itself. So it, yeah. it'll be interesting whether we can tell or not yeah. that you've got one on. So here we have the dress now with an underskirt on and you can see it's really brought it out, it's holding its structure. For me, it makes it a little bit more, I don't know, like a wow I think, because this dress for me, a satin dress, is always about the cleanness of it. For me, the fabric of satin is luxurious, it's denser, so it's the wow of it. And it's, it's like the structure of the dress, yeah. isn't it? Like I'm really looking at the, the structure of it now a lot more than it being a bit more relaxed. And I think with this one, the underskirt has brought out again, I'll do a little swish test. Yeah, that's nice, isn't oh, it? Oh, get married. Maybe not. <laughs> so I think you can see it's holding its shape a lot better. It's off my legs. It's going to keep me cool, more importantly. If you are a summer bride and you're worried about getting hot, an underskirt with a hoop will take the layers off your dress. Bit of breeziness. A little bit of breeze. And that'll keep the dress off you and it will keep you cooler. So it's also something really important to remember. If you are worried about getting hot in your wedding dress, an underskirt with an A-line might be your way forward. Um, but I think we'll pop the next dress on and see where we are there. So you should just say that we should love the dress. <laughs> so I'm just in saying, I'm going to buy this dress just for myself <laughs> and wear it around the house. Oh, I just love this dress. It is amazing. Isn't I know it? what makes me do like um, the whole a, a, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Squirrel. I tend to be talking about underskirts. Whatever, look at me. No. <laughs> Take it off, let me put it on. Um actually where was I? Right, this is the dress okay. without an underskirt, ladies. <laughs> right, okay. Back in the room. <laughs> so this is a dress I've got. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. This is without an underskirt, so we're going to pop it because this it's is very quite, relaxed, isn't it? It's a very relaxed dress. It's quite light. There's only a few layers to this dress, um, so we're going to pop an underskirt on and completely change the look of this dress. And I think that's an important thing to remember with an underskirt. It is sometimes to keep the layers off your legs to provide more structure, but actually, you might want a different look with your dress. Mm -hmm. It's always worth playing around if you think, oh, actually, I like this, but I wish it were more princessy because I love the neckline. So we're going to pop the underskirt on and hopefully you can see a different element to it. Now, I've popped the underskirt on and, I mean, as if I couldn't love this dress anymore, we've gone for a completely different look now. So it's taken off my legs and it's brought it out. So remember, this was a really relaxed dress, just really 
bow really softly. Well now, I've gone to a more of a structured skirt with this one because of the underskirt. So it's off my legs. Oh, I mean. I think this would be quite nice Swish if you wanted tech. to get married with it like this. Yeah. For a bit more wow. And then maybe with like a really long cathedral veil. And then you could whip the veil off whip the underskirt out, and then you've yeah. got a much more relaxed dress for the reception. So, go grab me a cathedral and veil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. But, again, we did it so you can see that an underskirt can make a difference with the shape of the skirt. So, it isn't always just about getting it off your legs to make it warm, warmer? Cooler for you? Cooler. <laughs> you don't get warmer in a wedding dress. <laughs> unless, it's, unless it's Christmas and it's cold. So you might, I mean, Stop. I'm squirrelling <laughs> all over the place because I've got a pretty dress on. But, um, we're going to go for a different dress next so you can see the difference with the skirt. From one favourite dress to my other favourite dress. Now this one, side note, the sparkle, I love it. Um, we've used it because this is more of a drop waist. So it's an A-line dress, but instead of some of the dresses that we've had on previously have come out here, this goes down really gently. So popping an underskirt on, we want to see the difference that makes the skirt. Because again, this is like kind of halfway between the, um, the really bigger skirt and the more relaxed skirt that I've previously had on. So you're halfway house really. So we're going to pop the underskirt on and see the difference it makes with this gorgeous dress. So here we have the dress now with an underskirt underneath. And what this has done, again, is brought it out. I've got a nice little swish going on now. Nothing sat on my legs. And again, it's made it more... It's less drop waist now. She's interrupted me. I... <laughs> you will never know what more that's made of it. I don't care. She's like, get out. <laughs> that's the skirt, Jeff. <laughs> so that's... Ignore her. It's brought it out more. And I don't know where I was going with that. She's completely ruined I, it. I bet it's true, isn't it? It looks more A-line than yes, drop waist now. it does. And I think, you know, if you, again... If you are considering a bigger skirt because you want that sort of look, your underskirt will achieve that for you. Remember, this is a one hoop underskirt with six layers of tulle. Yeah, six layers. So again, it's quite a fuller skirt, but it's not as big. So if you, you could go out more than this, and that would be achieved by more hoops in your underskirt. So we hope you enjoyed today. I have loved it. Give Gemma a little thing. <laughs> I've loved it because I've put some beautiful wedding dresses on. And when is it not a bad day when you put a lovely wedding dresses on? How happy dress you on? are. I am. Oh, happy happy Thursday, people. There we have it. I'm going to have an amazing day today. <laughs> I put some free dresses on. Bye, guys.